Welcome to the Gantt Tech tutorial for App Design 1. This is the tutorial on Space Invaders version 4. As you can see, Space Invaders version 4 is about ship updates. We look through the page briefly. You can see we have our instructions here. We have very bottom your portfolio page that you have to turn in with your questions. And then we have the video, which is this video. Um, Let's go ahead and look at the instructions for day four, version four. And if we peruse through this, this is all about ship updates. So we have all these ships. Where now we're going to create a ship structure. We're going to have five enemy ships and five hero ships. And you're going to start out in the level with with a game with one hero ship. And what you're going to do is score points. And as you score points later on you're going to actually be able to purchase ship upgrades. And the ship upgrades allows you to shoot faster, those type of things. The enemy ships, five enemy ships we're going to create. Depending on which ship you hit, you're going to get different points. So that's what primarily this update is about. So if you look down here, we're going to create some global variables. You can see here, um, this is where we're going to change the enemy ships using those global variables. We're going to create a procedure called get ship points. And then you can see that's still get ship points. And then here's going to be the bullet speed using our ship, our hero ship. And that's, then we'll end up while creating a level setup. We'll end there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So you can see here, you already have these. I'm here, this is version three. Version three you can complete by watching the previous video. And for the design, we really don't have to update anything in the design. So we're not adding any more components to our app today. We're primarily working in code. Just make sure you can see here, <clears throat> we have all 10 of our ships because we're working with ship updates today. Let's go ahead to blocks. You can see these are the previous codes that we've done. And what we need to do is create two global variables. One's going to be image sprites, or I'll just call it hero ships. This is going to be a list. So I'm going to go back to list. I'll make a list here. Remember anytime you see this blue box, that is One, two, three, four, five. And they're going to be filled with text boxes. And I'm going to create the exact same. So this is going to be enemy ships. And for simplicity, I'm going to duplicate that. Now, what we're going to do These are going to hold the available hero ships that they're available for purchase. These are going to hold all the enemy ships. I'm just adding in my comments for you. So here, inside of here, you want to select your different, whatever ones you want. So we have all these different hero, <clears throat> I mean, these different ships. So you could see you're, you can't use the Millennium Falcon one or two. These are going to be the bosses for our game. 
but you can use any one of these, ship one, ship two, ship three, ship four, ship five, ship six, all the way up to 10. So I'm, you can do it however you want. And all of them, if you really look at it, it says starship and the number. And if you look over here as well, you can see starship and the number one through 10. So you can do that and they are, make sure you have to put the end part as well, dot PNG. So star ship and the number you can choose whatever you can do one two three four five if you wanted these first five to be the available ships in these next ones you can do it however you want i'm going to do it odd and even so i'm going to copy this though and here i'll do this as that'll be Again, I said you can do it any way you want. I'm just doing odds and evens. Or you can do one, two, three, four, five. That's your choice. Or you can do whatever you want. So really, you're looking at this and which ones do you want to be your hero ships? Which ones do you want to be your enemy ships? It's completely up to you. And again, do not use these two because we're going to use these two later on to create they're going to be the ultimate ships. One's going to be the boss. One's going to be our highest ship that we can purchase. So I did those up there. Down here, I'm going to do my evens. And these will be my enemy ships, right? And again, you can choose any way you want. It's going to be eight. This is going to be 10. All right, I'm gonna zoom out. Move this stuff up some. And actually, I'll make this longer so we can have more space at the bottom. All right, so we need these variables because again we're going to be implementing ships version 4 is all about ship updates our hero ships we're going to be able to purchase these available ships so we're going to start out with this ship then we're going to be able to purchase these in our game if we have enough points and we're going to implement that in a later version our enemy ships if we hit this ship is going to be 100 points. If we hit the second ship, it's 200, 300, 400, 500. So depending on the ship that you actually hit, you'll get more points in our game. And that's what we're really updating here. If we go back to our tutorial. You can see here, I created my five ships. And you know, over. you can see here, the I just chose different values. You can do whatever you want again. And you can see updating the hero ship, we've done all that. Now, this part is talking about the enemy ship. Every time the enemy ship moves, really what we want to do is select a random ship from our <coughs> enemy ships. So we can see we have clock, enemy move. And we see what we're doing is it's moving the enemy ship, but we also want to update the enemy ship to show one of these values here. So I'm going to go to enemy sprite. I'm going to scroll down to our properties blocks because we want to update the picture. I'm going to put picture inside of there. And I want to select a random image from our enemy ships. So since this is a list, I'm going to go to list. I'm going to do select random. And I want to pick a random guy from here. So I'm going to add a comment here for you. So 
selecting um, our enemy ships. So that block of code there simply pulls a image from one of these and it changes it because remember clock enemy move happens every certain amount of seconds it's moving the guy but now it's also going to update the guy before we do we test it we want to implement again here if they hit the first guy we want it to be 100 points added to our score if they hit the second guy so we're going to need to make a procedure that procedure is going to you can see here, build and test. And you can see here is the reward. So if I hit the first guy, I get 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So here's the procedure that we're going to make. It talks about the differences and if conditions, since we're, we're it also talks about the differences in procedures. So this is a procedure where it's self-contained. This is a procedure that is returning something. And we're gonna be returning the correct amount of points based on the ship that they hit. So we're actually gonna use this procedure here. And then you can see here's the differences in if blocks. We've used this a lot. We've used this before in Gantt Mash. This is the procedure that you can use with a returning procedure. That way it simply returns something based on a condition. So we're gonna use this if block and this procedure, which is new for you. So you can see here, we're gonna create a get ship points procedure. Let's go ahead and do that. Click over to procedures, and again, here's the two different types. This is the regular procedure, self-contained, does not return a value. This is the procedure that returns a value. We're gonna use that. We want this one here. So I'm gonna call it get ship points, like that. And then you can see it simply returns a value. Well, we have a couple different options that we have. We have five different options here. So we need to return it. And you can see it's looking for a result. So that's why if we come over to our control, we've used this if many times. This is the if that we wanna use. And it's the exact same principles, it's just this one's going to return something. So here I can plug this inside of there. And I can say if something, then return something. And it'll give that return or else return something else. So for example, what I want to do is if this first, if the, enemy sprite it's picture because remember we're working with the picture right here the enemy sprites picture is equal to this first guy I want to return a hundred points that's the points that you should get so how do we do that in English again it's if this enemy sprite picture is equal to this so just like we said in English we can code that in app inventor or any language so we're comparing text because you can see here, this is text, right? So I'm gonna go to text. I'm gonna pull out my compare text. I'm gonna say equals. And think about the sentence again. If this enemy, enemy sprites picture is equal to that. So I'm gonna to go to enemy sprite. I'm gonna to go to our property. If the enemy sprites picture, right? is equal to this guy. I could type it in a text box, but I'm gonna use the list. So I'm gonna to go to list. And do select list item. The list I'm pulling from is this. The index I want is the first guy. So I could have went and typed this in here, but in the future, let's say I change these images, I change the names of these, I would have to change it two places versus referencing in one place. So no matter what I call my ship, it's always going to see if it's the first guy in the enemy ship. If it is, very simple. I want to return 100 points. So let's look at this. Looks kind of complex, but not really. 
All this says is if the enemy sprites picture is equal to the first thing in the enemy ships list. That means it comes over here, it says is the picture currently Starship 2 that you hit? If it is, you're gonna get 100 points. We're gonna return that someplace. Well, we haven't added where, we're not haven't called get ship points yet, but we will in a second. You can see here from the reading, here's my get ship points, here's my if, then that we were using. Here's my compare. You can see I also have my enemy and I have that. You can see I pulled that in. So in the reading, and then here is where we have it. Now you can see here's the second and the third and the fourth. And basically you have to completely build that out. So I'm gonna do one more for you and then I'm gonna allow you to do the rest on your own. So we go to control, I'm gonna pull this in. And again, I wanna compare if the enemy sprite's picture is equal to, so I'm gonna go back to my compare text, pull this inside of here. I'm gonna go back to my image bright enemy, go to my green property blocks, And I want to select a list item. The list I'm pulling from is enemy sprite. And if it's the second guy, then I want to return. Now, I'm gonna fill these in, but you're going to complete these on your own. This is three, four, five. And I'll add my comments here. So you know you have to complete this on your own. So you can see here, you have to code this. And you're coding this obviously on your own. I'll copy this because down here, this is, if it's equal to the fourth item, Return 400. Again, that's on your own. This is if it's the fifth item. And the list. Return 500. Now, if you got that, you're going to have this empty space down here. So if it's not the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth, which it should be in this instance, you're going to return one of these. But you still need to fill in this else block. So the else block, if it's not one of those, you simply return zero. So I'm going to add a comment. I'm going to say if enemy ship is not any of the previous from the enemy ships list, return zero. So there we have it. The reason we need the zero is to fill out the block, but because of this line of code here, our, our get ship points, our enemy sprites picture will only be guys from here. It will never be 
it'll never really get to the zero point, but we're completing the code block. So with that, you should go ahead and test your app. Um, actually, we missed one part. We did not, we're not actually calling this procedure. So where did we actually get it? Um, if you look back through the tutorial, if you keep scrolling, you can see whenever the bullet collides with something, that's where we're doing our points, right? So that's the one last block that we need to add in. We need to come back up here to our image sprite bullets collide with. You could see we have all this. And I'm going to zoom out again. So you can see here, score is equal to, and I'm going to collapse my previous code not to confuse you. I'll just collapse these guys. My score is here, and this is where I'm actually updating the label score. You see, normally we're just doing plus one. But now we're actually going to give them points based on the ships. So up here, get ship points. I'm going to delete that guy there. And then now I'm going to put in, because it's returning points, you can see it looks different. These are the completed blocks. Put this inside here. And I'm going to do get the correct points based on the type of enemy ship that you hit. So let's put a range in here from 100 to 500. So now there's a little bit of a strategy in our game. You're trying to hit the, the higher base ships to get a higher score. So with that, now you're ready to test the enemy sprites part of it. <coughs> For this, you can do build APK and test it. You can see connect an emulator. Or you can do on your phone using the AI companion. So go ahead and test your app. Make sure it's currently working. And you can see always in the instructions, I put build and test your app. Because you should not just believe it works because the teacher's telling you, you should actually test it to see what you're coding and why it actually works. So definitely you have to finish these parts and then complete that app. So go ahead, I'll give you a pause the video here. Go complete this code, then test it on your phone or your tablet, and then come back and you can resume this video to complete the final part of our version four. Okay, so welcome back. You should have tested your app. When you hit the enemy, you can see we built out all these different things. We dealt with the enemy ships. We built out this list of our different enemy ships that we're using. We updated the random ship every time it moves. We created the skip ship points to give us a point range between one to 500 when you hit a certain type of ship. And then down here, we updated our score inside of image bright. So the last part of it is we're dealing with our hero ships. So here is all the hero ships that you have. Again, in our game, we have not built it yet, but we're going to build a ship shop. And the ship shop is going to be able to use to buy these upgraded ships. So we're gonna start out with a basic ship, which is Starship One in my example. And once I get a certain amount of points, I can go to the ship shop and try to buy Starship 3 or Starship 5 or Starship. Eventually, we'll be able to buy, we'll come back up here to our, all of our ships. Eventually, we'll be able to buy the Millennium Falcon. 
So we're going to go through these basic ships, and each ship allows us to shoot the bullet a little bit faster. Um, and obviously, as we move through the levels, these ships will move faster, so you'll need to purchase ship upgrades in order to beat our game. So let's go back to our ship bullet speeds. So here you can see, get your hero ship bullet speed. So for right now, if here's my guidelines. If you have ship one, your bullet speed is 10. If, if you go to ship two, it's 11, 12. Ship four is about 14. Ship five is 15. Millennium Falcon, remember I told you that once we get to that point, it's gonna be 20. So you're gonna be able to shoot really, really fast. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. You can see we have two type of procedures. We're gonna use this one because we're gonna return based on, just like we do with the get ship points, we're gonna create a procedure that returns the ship's bullet speed based on what type of hero ship there is. So you can see I'm gonna build the get ship bullet speed. It's gonna be very similar to before. Here's our kind of guidelines. And here's the Millennium Falcon that we have. And then we need to update that. So let's go ahead and do that part. I'm gonna move it to, this, to the right. So remember we're using this type because we're trying to get a result. I'm gonna get ship bullet speed. And we're doing the exact same thing. I'm gonna do one of these because it's very similar to the get ship points. And then you're going to do the rest. So I'll, I'm gonna to go to compare text. And again, in English, what I'm saying is if the hero ship is equal, I'm gonna move this guy over so we can see him. And I'll move this guy over here so we know that goes with that. We're saying in English, if the hero sprite or the hero ship is equal to this first guy, then the ship bullet speed is going to be 10. So, I'll come over to image sprite. I'll go down to picture. Again, I'm going to reference my list. So I'm going to do select item from list, which is here. The list I'm pulling from is hero ships. And I wanna see if it's equal to the first guy. If it is, then I want to return a bullet speed of 10. Add a little comment. This is the basic ship. Now, all the way down, do the exact same thing. This is if it's equal to the second guy. And you're gonna code on your own. So you're gonna code this guy on your own if the hero hero ship is equal to the second item and hero ships this return
of, I believe it was 11. So we have 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. Okay. So you're going to code that on your own. Same thing here. I have my comment for you. Code this on your own as well. So this is the third guy. Should return that. Here's the fourth guy. I have my comment here for you. Just double check 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. Yep, 10, 11, 12, 14. Got one more. Let me code this on your own. This is the fifth guy. Now the last one I'm, I'm going to code with you. And the last guy, I remember I talked about the Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon is going to be kind of the ultimate ship. So we're going to code that in our pictures. I gave you two Millennium Falcons. One you decide whichever one you want is going to be the hero and the enemy ship. So let's scroll back up so you can see them. So this is Millennium Falcon 1, this is Millennium Falcon 2. I can choose either one that's going to be the one I can buy. The other one's going to be the enemy ship, the boss of our game. So I'm just going to choose Millennium Falcon 1. So over here, this last block, we want to code. Because Millennium Falcon is not currently in our list, we're going to do a comparison statement and actually type it in. So I'm going to do over here, compare, it's going to be equals. First part is going to be the same, image sprite hero. The picture. So I'm going to move this over and you can see, let's go back to the instructions here on the class page. You can see get bullet speed, compare text, this. Here is where you can see I'm actually hard coding it and I did in the instructions as well. I selected Millennium Falcon 1. So I'm going to put text, put that inside of there. And you have to spell it exactly correct or it will exactly like this. Or when the game is running, it's going to try to put your misspelling in there. And if there's, it's not exact, it's going to show an empty picture. So I'm going to do M-I-L-L-E-N-I-U-M, capital F-A-L-C-O-N, one dot P-N-G. And if you make sure you, you type it correctly or simply go to your file or your documents folder where the image is, copy it and then paste it in. So if it's equal to the Millennium Falcon, which is kind of our ultimate ship, right? We're going to return the ship bullet speed of 20. Now we have this or else over and get ship points return zero but we don't want a bullet speed of zero this obviously will not get reached as well but in this instance we'll just return the basic bullet speed and the basic bullet speed is 10. now i'll put a comment there return the minimum Speed. Make 
second picture not one. So I'm gonna do zero shifts with not won't it won't occur. So basically we're putting here this for code completion, but our ship is going to be one of these ships. It has to be the way we've coded it. You can see here, image sprite, bullet speed to get ship points. And the hint says identify the code where, where the bullet is loaded. It should be placed inside this block of code. So where do we load our bullet? And we'll build it. Well, we have this load bullet procedure. You can see here we have get bullet sprite speed. So anytime we're loading bullet, we're getting like put the speed of it. And then that's where So we have our load bullet procedure. We'll pull this over. And let's move you to the right. So this is all of our stuff. I'm gonna do our load bullet procedure. And all our load bullet procedure really does is move the bullet to the current ship position. Because remember you can move your ship. <coughs> so inside of here. We want to update our bullet speed. So image sprite bullet speed is going to be equal to get ship bullet speed. And the reason we're putting it in here is throughout in our game, you will see it very shortly, is you can purchase a ship grade during level one or level two or level three. So mid game, you can actually get a higher, a, a better ship, and then you actually can shoot faster. So we want to, anytime we load it, we want to get the current bullet speed, and we're going to use this. So here you have to complete that part, and then you can test that. You only should have this. Um, to complete it, though, we have to create a level setup procedure. And on level setup, we want to make sure that we put our hero ship to be the first ship. So if we come back here, you can see we have a creating. We were going to load the bullet, play the background music. Ammunition is six and update ammo picture. And we'll call I'm going to level setup from there. So one last procedure, call this level setup. And what I'm gonna really do is where is my screen initialize? We need that. This is level setup. Inside of level setup, I want to Start playing the music, and now I'm going to put my level setup guy over here. Um, also, what I want to do is make sure <coughs> that I load the bullet, I set my ammunition to six, and I update my ammo pick. So I'll load the bullet. I want to set my ammunition to six because this level is just starting. Then I want to update my ammunition. And update my ammunition is this little, it updates this picture here. Because the next version five is level setup. We're kind of previewing version five right here. For you. The one last thing to get this to work, which I 
did not cover. If you started the game, we have to make sure whatever this first guy is for hero ship, we selected that um, as well. <coughs> so the first guy should be This guy should be equal to whatever you selected for your hero ships. We can code that by saying if level is equal to one, select this, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do that in a future version. But for today, since I selected Starship One as the first guy in my hero ships, I need to go to designer. I need to click on this guy, which is my hero ship. And I need to make sure, see right now is Starship Five, I need to make sure that it's Starship One. So make sure that this picture for your hero ship matches what you selected, what you typed here. I could have changed it to Starship Five if I wanted it. If I really wanted this guy to be Starship Five, like it was this guy, then all I would have to do is say, this is my basic ship and move that there. With that, this is the end of version four. In this version, we conquered all about ship updates. We didn't do anything design, but now this guy will change to five different ships. And if you hit different ships, you get different point values for your score. This also, we only have a basic ship for now and in the future version, you'll be able to purchase upgrades, but now your ship bullet speed shoots according to the ship type. With that, you're completed for version four, Space Invaders. Um, make sure you test your app. Remember to test your app. You're gonna come here to build, use your QR code, test it on your phone or the class tablet. And then very bottom, we have our portfolio page. You can see ship updates. You gotta put your code in there, your screen. And here are some of our reflection questions that you have to do.